good morning everyone uh, this class for the class 10 and uh, class 10 biology your first chapter is there life process today i'll discuss some important question from the life process so first question why is diffusion insufficient to meet the oxygen requirement of multicellular organism like human beings why is diffusion insufficient to meet the oxygen requirements in multicellular organisms like human beings all we have seen in case of amoeba paramecium that they don't have any respiratory pigments such as hemoglobin but in case of human beings in case of another animals like tiger they have respiratory pigment so here the question is the diffusion process is not sufficient for transporting oxygen yes the large multicellular organism is the large multicellular organism like humans the oxygen of air will have to travel large distance inside the body to reach each and every cell of their body part. As we know that diffusion is a very very slow process, so it will consume long time to reach to the cell of the body part. And when we will talk about any multicellular organism such as human beings, we know that the body is large and in case of that diffusion will be taken long time very much time and in case of uh, uh, diffusion we can say it cannot be able to reach to each and every cell of the inner part of the body so then what will be happen then most of the cells will not get oxygen very quickly and they can they will not be able to produce the uh, 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 consuming the energy from the food so that's why that's why respiratory pigment such as hemoglobin is required and we have the hemoglobin to transport oxygen from lungs to every cell when we have the hemoglobin uh, the blood take up the oxygen from the air in the lungs and it quick and it can carry the oxygen quickly to each and every cell of our body so i think answer is clear to everyone as we know the diffusion is a very very slow process that's why it will take long time and sometimes it will be impossible to reach each and every cell within a specific time so that's why we need some respiratory pigments such as hemoglobin to carry to transport the oxygen from lungs to every shell of our body so that's why diffusion is insufficient to meet the oxygen requirement in case of multicellular organism now next question is uh, what criteria do we use to decide whether something is alive when we are going to decide that something is alive we should follow some specific characteristic is they is these characteristic are present in this object in this organism so what are the characteristic that we should follow that we should observe first one obviously living things can move by themselves is they are movable is it movable that we have to observe by its own so living things can move by themselves this is the first criteria second living things need food living things need food air and water to be alive and third living things can grow as we see plant as we see human being as we see any animal obviously they can grow so this is also one criteria for being alive and fourth living things can respond to changes around them they are sensitive if we get any stimuli we will give response 
suppose if a, a candle is burning and mistakenly we have touched it what will happen we will move our hand from there so here the burning candle was stimulus to us and we give response by moving our hand okay so this is that living things can living things can respond to change around them and they are sensitive now what is the fifth criteria living things respire respire means release energy from food whatever food we are taking all the living things are taking they are using this food to release the energy and they are using this energy to do all the activity so this is also another important criteria to be alive now point 6 living things excrete excrete means they get rid of waste materials from their body they get rid of waste materials from their body and last one living things can reproduce living thing can reproduce that means they can have young ones we have seen in case in case of plants they also have young ones in case of tiger in case of lion in case of human beings all they have the young ones so these all are the criteria to be alive so in short we will see once again first living things can move by their own self living things need food water and air to be alive third living things can grow fourth living things can respond to the changes around them fifth living things respire six living things excrete and seven living things can reproduce so these are the criteria basis of these we can observe and we can say any organism is alive or not something actually when we will talk about the organism maybe that is the alive thing when we will uh, observe something is it alive then we will use this criteria now next question next question is what are outside raw materials used by organism what are the outside raw materials used by an organism basically we know three types of organism are there basically two types of organism are there one is autotrophic organism another is heterotrophic organism so when we talk about the autotrophic organism what they taken as their raw materials basically we know that autotrophic organism means the uh, plant green plant so they use outside raw materials such as carbon dioxide water minerals along with sunlight and they are using these raw materials to make their own food by the process of photosynthesis now second heterotrophic organism like animal like human beings also so they use outside raw materials such as ready made food that has already made by the plant hmm? ready made organic food to grow develop synthesize proteins and other substances needed to the body so what are the raw material taken by heterotrophic organism these are the ready made food so we can conclude that most of the organisms use oxygen as outside material for breaking their food item for releasing energy we are respiring taking oxygen and releasing carbon dioxide why we taking oxygen because we are taking oxygen to release the energy from food so these are the raw materials what we have taken from our environment so i am sorting out autotrophic autotrophic organisms such as green plant takes carbon dioxide sunlight water and minerals to produce their food in process of photosynthesis and heterotrophic organism taking ready made food as that has made by the plant already or in animals for releasing energy uh, for uh, using or for synthesizing protein or for developing or for growth and whatever they need to their body and apart from these all most of the organism 
taking a raw material this is the oxygen for releasing the energy from food so i think it's also clear to everyone now next question what process would you consider essential for maintaining life just because sometimes we have seen what are the criteria to be alive anything now what are the process for maintaining life the various process essential for maintaining life these are none other than nutrition transpiration sorry transpiration we can see uh, we can say for the plant uh, when we will talk about all organism these will be the nutrition respiration transport excretion control and coordination growth movement and reproduction first one nutrition second one respiration third one transport fourth one excretion fifth one control and coordination sixth one growth seventh one movement and last one reproduction we need nutrition to make protein to make our growth to for make our development right second respiration we need to do respiration because we need oxygen to release the energy to break down the food third transport we need obviously we need a process of transport because due to with this transport system we can carry the oxygen from our lungs to every cell of the body right third excretion obviously we <coughs> need to rid of the waste materials get rid of the waste materials <coughs> from the body and control and coordination control and coordination means when we are giving the response to any stimuli uh, around us that thing maintaining by the process of control and coordination so obviously it is a very important process for being alive and uh, next growth yes growth is obviously needed for continuing the life process for being uh, stay in the world and the movement obviously one living thing need to movement for finding the food for protect themselves they need of movement and finally reproduction reproduction because we need to produce a young one to be stable our species on the world so this much was for today thank you everyone next day we'll discuss more important questions on this chapter thank you